Hi, Lil. Hi, Shrihari. So, as promised, can we showcase the logic app failure processing capabilities to our listeners, Ellen? Yes. So, I remember in the previous video, we discovered how logic app can define workflow integrating distributed systems. So, we did promise to show how Serverless 360 can help in the business operations involving logic app failures, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. So let us show uh, the Azure portal. Let's get started from the Azure portal, the, its challenges and how Serverless 360 can fill those gaps. Yeah. This is our Azure portal, Srihari. So as you know, along with the logic app that we created in our previous uh, recording, I have a number of applications built using Azure services and all that I am presented with when I log into my Azure portal is a bunch of resources. Yes. Can you infer the status of my booking processor logic app from this dashboard? No, uh, not really. I don't get an understanding of whether it's running or not, it's healthy or not, whether its performance is as expected or not, isn't it? Yes, so business gets struck with this. But what is actually required is an application like view. So I don't get the context of which business application does this booking processor belong to, isn't it? So that is what something that I'm looking for. When it comes to Serverless 360 and its features, I believe you are a better champ to describe it than me. So I'll allow you to talk about uh, the features that Serverless 360 offers that gives a better visibility on Azure resources, especially the logic app that we created in the last video and using its features. Yeah. Yeah, you mentioned it uh, right, LL. So when we get into the Azure portal, all we see is just a bunch of resource with which we cannot easily understand the health status of one resource or the health status of the entire application. Yeah. But to overcome this challenge with Serverless 360, we have an application view. And from this application view, we can easily understand how many applications we are dealing with and what is the health status of the application. One of the logic app that I'm going to investigate today is a part of my fleet management application and mm -hmm. as you can see my fleet management has some issues within it mm -hmm. and if i want to know in which part of this fleet management error is occurring i can simply dive into my application mm -hmm. and i can leverage the service map feature mm -hmm. so with my service map i get to know what is the azure dependencies that i have for this application mm -hmm. so when we are building applications it's not just a single resource right it will be a combination of multiple resources so for decoupling we use service for integration we use logic apps so all of these services work together to form an application and in my application the problem is exactly happening in my logic app and if you want to know what is the exact root cause of this issue you can click on my logic app and it gives you the total okay yeah right now i have failures in my logic app so it is rightly been mentioned here hmm. and i get access to it without doing much of uh, clicks in serverless 360 Absolutely. This application like view, which spotlights the failure on your resource is what business operation really needs, isn't it? Yeah. So once after we know our logic app is in, so right now we know our logic app is in error state and we also know what is the exact cause of this failure. Okay. So in order to resolve this issue, I can get into serverless 360's operational capabilities, which is not available in any other monitoring tools in the market. Absolutely, Srihari. There are a range of application performance monitoring tools available, but they all stop at this point. That is, they will help you identify an issue, but they do not provide you the operational tool set to fix the issue. So Exactly. Yeah, that's where Serverless 360 stands out. So you can see exactly the problem lies with my booking processor logic app and I can directly get into my booking process logic app to understand the performance of my logic app. We present you with a simple dashboard with which you can understand how many logic app runs has been started and how many runs has been failed. Or if you want to drill down further, we have a lot of widgets available for that so that you can easily understand the performance of this logic app. So you can see there are a total of 14 failures in my logic app. So if I want to get into the failures, I can leverage the run history tab in the Azure portal. But how we outstand the Azure portal is we have introduced an action required tab with which we give you and recently failed logic app runs. So I have 14 failures in my logic app, which will be directly listed on in this action required tab. 
I see real value in this feature, Sri Hari. So as a support user, when I log into my system, log into Serverless 360, I get a focus to view on the failures that I need to pay attention to at this point in time. It's indeed valuable when I'm when I look at it from a business operations perspective. Right. So these are the failures that the support user or we should be concerned about at this point. So I can select or I can investigate why this logic app run got failed by clicking on it, which will give me all the actions within my logic app and the exact reason for failures. So currently my logic app has failed in one of its action and the failure reason is unauthorized. You can even drill down deeper by clicking on the actions and you can have access to the input and output bindings directly from serverless 360. Hmm. So you can see there is an unauthorized access, which means the API gateway called from this connector is not accessible. We need to reestablish the connection to the API gateway. Once the API gateway communication has been reestablished, I can choose to reprocess this transaction. So in order to do that, I can directly do it from serverless 360. I can select an individual run and I can choose to resubmit it. Hmm. After my investigation, I can choose to reprocess this run. And when I perform reprocess, I take action on this run so that it can be removed from the action require tab and it can be placed in the run history. And if this resubmitted run and the check which means the child run. If the child run gets failed, it will be placed in the action required tab because it's a new failure and my support user needs to focus on the new failure. Right? So this kind of a smart filtering is not available in the Azure portal. So from the Azure portal, I don't have this kind of a smart filtering. All I have is just filtering based on the status. Either I drill down to all the set of failures, but not to the recent ones. But with serverless 360, this action required saves a lot of time for your support users to drill down to the recent failures for further actions. So the run which we resubmitted for this video purpose got successfully uh, got success. And if you want to achieve correlation between the parent run and the child run, you can do it at ease with serverless 360. So I have a tax associated to each and every run, which gives the details of my parent run. So this parent run is the run that we uh, investigated earlier and it had a failure in our checkpoint 7 due to the reason unauthorized and after resubmission the run went through successfully and i can investigate that too with serverless 360. so we give you an easy differentiation between the parent run and child run but if you want to do that with the azure portal you need to spend a lot of time and you need to manually correlate different runs so Shrihiri, what if a run has been uh, retried multiple times and it got through just now? Yeah, so for that we have a show retry chain with which the complete retry chains can be visualized. Along with the status. Exactly. Yeah, I can see. So this is, a, this is the current run and this run has been resubmitted for a couple of times now. Mm -hmm. And if you want to investigate for the couple of submissions, you can click on the parent and run I didn't fail and you get access to all of the details of the parent run in which stage it got failed and what is the exact root cause of the failure right this is indeed a bliss when we are dealing with business operations I think here we need to highlight one of our uh, customer scenarios wherein they had thousands and thousands of logic app failures and it's a uh, manual overhead to deal with them by investigating each one of them manually um, let us share with our listeners how did serverless 360's automated task pitch in and then operate help them operate efficiently yeah let's do that Ellen. so in order to reprocess all the failures you have within a logic app we have a simple solution called as resubmit failed runs which will resubmit all the failures you have within your logic app in respect to of the failure reason and in respect to of the time in which it got failed mm -hmm. so all the failures you have so far will be picked up and resubmitted for reprocessing but if you want to even effectively even... automate it we have options with serverless 360 which we named as automated tasks and with our automated tasks you can schedule activities and these activities can take care of processing your dead letter messages all you need to do is choose from which logic app you want to pick up the failures and what is the time frame in which you want to pick up in our customer scenario they had a failure in a weekend and their support user or the developers won't be available during the weekend to assist for failures so by monday when they got back they had nearly 10 to 20 000 failures and as you mentioned 
processing on these 20,000 failures manually is not an ideal approach, right? So they use serverless 360's automated tasks and configure the time frame to pick up the failures in the past 50 hours, which covers the weekend. And they don't want to again resubmit all the set of failures, but they only want to drill down to a specific failure, which is an unauthorized error. That too should have happened in one of their actions in Logic App. So they predefined the configuration in Serverless 360 and they manually executed these activities so that the failures that has happened in the weekend was automatically taken care of. Intelligent automation from Serverless 360 helped them operate efficiently without any manual overheads. Correct. Exactly. So similarly, we have other automated tasks with Serverless 360 for other resources as well. So this is a nutshell how Serverless 360 can help you visualize your logic app with a business context, spotlight any issues with it, investigate the failure, reprocess them manually or when it is humongous task, automate it intelligently to operate efficiently. So I think you would have gotten better understanding of Serverless 360's outstanding or advanced logic app failure management. Stay Perhaps. tuned with us to explore more in Asia and what Serverless 360 has got in store for Asia.